Remember the days before this global crisis started when Peter McKay's campaign was only posting cringe on a semi-regular basis instead of on a regular basis? Well, Peter McKay has kicked campaign cringe into overdrive and has seemingly started running his own campaign from his own iPhone, stealing iPhone ringtones and Mac desktop imagery to tell Canadians that the first thing we should be concerned about is making sure that he gets the job he's always wanted. Humans, we should be preparing for COVID-19 and the monumental impacts it will have on our health and economy. Peter McKay, we should be focused on getting me the job I want as soon as possible. Now, there's a few reasons why Peter McKay might want to run through this campaign as quickly as possible. It's either because he had the lead on the outset, some MP support in a larger list, and now that this global pandemic is stopping events, his opponents aren't going to be able to sign up as many members, which is crucial for winning an election a leadership election, a primary election here in Canada, that's the number one priority for these candidates. It's either that or he's just really interested in attending the Pride Parade as the newly elected leader, which was scheduled the day after the leadership election. According to the Conservative Party of Canada Leadership Election Committee, until May 1st, 2020, there will be a suspension of leadership fundraising. The party will not be processing directed donations and verified candidates will be asked and encouraged to refrain from contacting party members. It's almost like we have more important things to worry about than getting Peter McKay this really cushy job. Now, frankly, the last thing the Conservative Party needs is to have a leader of the party who's not actually in the House of Commons. Over the next few months, Parliament may be recalled in a similar emergency fashion as we saw over last week when Andrew Scheer brought just a bare-bones caucus to hold the government to account. Now, frankly, Andrew Scheer did a good job making sure that Justin Trudeau wasn't given a blank check until the end of next year. If Peter McKay was crowned leader, not only does he not have a seat in Parliament, he would be ineffectual when it comes to holding Justin Trudeau to account in the House of Commons. Now, Peter McKay did have a lot of establishment support, but tides seemed to be turning. Former leadership candidate Brad Trost has taken to Twitter to ask if Team McKay is this politically clueless or if it's just Peter himself. Lots of support seems to be fleeing Peter McKay. Peter McKay has lost his damn mind. And of course, the memes are definitely flowing. The urgency grew day by day to cancel each game, gala, play, campaign, and convention. But I want attention, said candidate Peter McKay. Now, memes of phones have been ringing off the hook, and campaigns opposing campaigns to Peter McKay have taken a few snipes at the leading candidate, now, it is all a little bit cringe from all sides. This is all cringe. Canadians have much more important things to be concerned about. And it's caused the caucus mom, Michelle Rempel, bless her soul, to pull the two fighting candidates apart like bickering children, saying they'll get 20 minutes of Facebook time if they quit fighting in public and embarrassing the party. Now, frankly, nobody knows what's going on. Nobody has any idea when the leadership race is going to be back on and the party is going to re-review the delay on May 1st. They might even push it back farther. I'm sure Andrew Scheer is happy about this, but like I said, nobody has any idea what's going on. The only thing that is clear is the only way I'm going to be happy about this is if Stephen Harper ends up being leader at the end of all this. We'll be sure to keep you posted with everything going on with the Conservative Party leadership race here at Rebel News. For Rebel News, I'm Ken Bexty. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Rebel News right now. We're pretty sure here at our company that we are getting throttled by YouTube. It seems like they're directing traffic all to lamestream media outlets in light of the pandemic. So the best way that you can stay in touch with us is to click the notification bell at the bottom of this video on YouTube. That way you will be for sure updated when we post videos.